angels dress. It was all right. I just was just like, damn, how uncomfortable do you look or are you, bitch, in this whole ensemble and you're pregnant? You know what I'm saying? It was just looking like um, wires was coming on, left the boobs, they was crossing up. And, you know, um, maybe the material was stretchy. It had to be um, stretchy. It was like a shiny, shimmery type of um, dress uh, material. And it probably was stretchy, real stretchy, like shoestring, like up the side or something. And then, um, you know, it was fitting ahead to slip with the shoestring sides going coming up. Um, and yeah, I was just like, damn it. Everybody's like, she looks amazing. That is so nice. I was just like, bitch, you look uncomfortable. Like, uh, I just probably would have just wore some, like, a real cute, you know, fitted outfit with some tennis shoes, girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just wouldn't have did all that. I just, it just was looking like too much. And I understand she's a fashion designer. You know, the biggest fashion designer. Like, this bitch is popping right now. She is a fashion designer for all of the hottest people um, right now in the industry. But I was just like, that's just giving too much. I personally didn't like it now. A lot of youngers probably like it because I think this is the style right now. But y'all, did y'all see when she was getting up out of that car? I was like, oh my God. Y'all, I got a picture. She was just like. It looked like she had to raise herself up out of there. When this dumb ass rock star should have been helping this bitch to get out. He should have been right there in front of you, you know, helping you to get out. But you ain't said, because girl, if that was me and I had on all that and I was that damn pregnant, I'd be right waiting in the car. Girl, you got to demand your respect waiting in the car. Oh, where's that bitch? She ain't, I'm still in the fucking car. Okay, you should have took your ass around the damn car and seen where the fuck I was at and tried to help me get out with my big ass. You know, but he's not going to do that. He's too damn stupid to know to do that. And she's not going to command that type of respect anyway. But, girl, she was getting up out of that car. I said, God damn, bitch, you look huge. And you look very uncomfortable. But anyway, um, yeah, everybody liked this, what she will. And I just, I really wasn't feeling it. The one person that I really, really liked their outfit, y'all, at the uh, gender reveal party was Brandy's, okay? I It was just so simple. To the point, um, I think she was well-dressed for the occasion. It was a one-piece, um, like a romper. And it was like, I think it was pink denim. That's the way it looked, y'all. Tell me or whether or not y'all think this is pink denim. Y'all, you got to really look at the pictures. I don't have a professional camera, so I took these um, pictures um, in front of my TV. So, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but I looked really close and it looked like it's pink denim and i was like oh my god i would love that fucking outfit it was so pretty um and I, just like i said i thought she was well dressed on top of that it looked so pretty on her brown skin she had okay again the real pretty um colored wig with her skin so i just think that brandy was popping on this episode and yeah i really wanted her outfit you know of the pink denim girl okay hey everybody she girl sassy sean T's. i'm coming back with another video yes honey back with another one girl y'all get into this fourth episode okay of basketball wives Yes, we are here, and uh, your girl a little sweaty, okay? I have been on TikTok for about an hour, okay, girl? And, yeah, I usually just do a TikTok before I get on this motherfucker just to promote sassy over there. And, yeah, your girl did too much. Like, I was having too much fucking fun, y'all. So, go over there if y'all get a chance. I don't have that many followers. I ain't been on it for, for so long. But I do have, you know, a couple of things over there. But I don't have, like, a lot of followers over there. But go over there, y'all. I ain't even asking y'all to follow. It's just fun to watch, okay? TikTok is my favorite social media platform, and I will never, if I was to choose, you know, YouTube, you know, you're going to bring me the little bag and everything, but, um, yeah, I would have to choose TikTok. I love TikTok, y'all. I am in love with TikTok, and you will find yourself not being able to get shit done fucking with TikTok. Like this, just now, y'all, it was hard for me to come on here and do this video, and one of the videos, I say it, like, I need to get off of here and do the Basketball Wives reviews, y'all, so, yeah, go over there, Donna Hampton 5, so D-O-N-N-A. Hampton, H-A-M-P-T-O-N. That's my whole name, uh, my government name, and five, okay? The number five. So, yeah, y'all. I had a lot of fun, so go over to y'all. Anyway, y'all, let's get into the episode. So, the episode starts off with the girls, you know, basically catfighting again Um, from the last episode. Malaysia, somehow, how, you know, oh, come outside telling Brandy, come outside, come outside if you want to see me. And it's just like, bitch, you ain't really that fucking mad. Brandy been and whipped your goddamn ass on this show because she's more mad than you, honey. And yeah, I don't know if Zell Swag is gonna be able to save your monkey ass. So you might need to calm the fuck down. And then on top of that, y'all, she's saying all this shit. Come outside, go outside, but bitch, you walking all fast. You know what I'm saying? But you gonna start running when you get close to your car, girl. I was like, okay, you know what, Malaysia, you doing a lot, and you really need to calm down. So anyway, like I said, Brandy is pissed off, man. She need to really calm down. She need to calm down. Um, because yeah, she is not that fucking serious to me. I just thought it wasn't that fucking serious. 
um, to be blowing up like this and letting a bitch see you get this damn mad, you know, all for some dumb shit. So anyway, y'all, Nia, she has picked out seven guys that she like, you know, and I was just like, damn, bitch, because Duffy said the number, and I was looking around like, damn, how many niggas is that? But Duffy was like, she got seven men, and I'm just like, god damn. So on top of that, y'all, none of them was attractive, you know, just not nothing I would even, like, look at, you know what I'm saying? And I just couldn't understand, you know, why she was picking everybody. I guess she, at this point, she seemed desperate for it. She talking about, oh, yeah, she told the girls, you know, when they was at the little pedicure thing, getting their nails done and stuff. Um, yeah, I haven't had sex in a year. I haven't dated in a year since my father passed and everything. So she's feeling the type of way. And I guess, you know, she just putting all herself out there and just going to try to date any and everything to, you know, find love. So I guess that's what you're supposed to do. If the dating scene is hard, you just was supposed to date anybody. But that's what it looked like she did. She just got like anybody. So Nia is asking the guys, you know, do any of y'all have any baby mama drama? Basically, that's what she was asking them. And is it recent? Is it past? Like, what's going on? Y'all, VH won't even fucking show. It. I'm like, what happened? Like, they cut it out or something. Y'all mean to tell me out of seven niggas, don't nobody have no baby mama drama? So I thought that was crappy. That they, we didn't really get the tea on that. And why didn't they show, you know, what the guy said? You know, it just would have been something different. Then talking about the fact that British is mad at Jackie again. You know what I mean? Dragging this shit out on this episode. I'm just like, God, are we about to go through this again? Y'all, so they just talk about how, you know, she like, why did you do that? Jackie like, well, I believe in y'all. And um, um, and she like, well, I didn't tell you to do anything like that. Like, I I don't even feel like going into the conversation, but it's just basically saying how, um, British was saying how, you know, um, he's disrespecting me. He's uh, been on social media talking about me to other women. Um, you saw how he was disrespecting me, talking about how um, he raised me. You know, why would you want that? And Jackie basically told her, she was like, you know what? Thank you for, you know, letting me know in that way because it seemed like you're really serious any other time you know it seems like you're playing around you're not really serious and you still love them so that's why basically i was carrying it like that and jackie like you know i'm a relationship guru like why do you keep saying that she was blowing me, kept saying how she's a relationship guru. Jackie really thinks that because she's been married close to 20 years, she is a relationship guru. And I'm just thinking to myself, yeah, you probably know a rock of shit about, you know, relationships and everything. How come you can't figure out that this nigga is dead motherfucking wrong? You know what I'm saying? And even if you can't figure out, Jackie, you can read a nigga by now. Like, I feel like I'm a perfectionist with reading niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because I have been married for a long time. Because I have dated before my husband. I'm 45 years old. So yeah, I feel like I know some shit. You should know too that you have no business trying to get this girl set back up with him. Especially when, because first of all, your friend said stop. You know, she did not want to be with him. Second of all, you heard this nigga say at the dating place, oh yeah, well I raised her. That's disrespectful. What type of dude is that? You saw her little speech there when she was like, you know what? Um, You getting up here, you acting like you all that, and you forgot about me, and we used to be close and all that. So he changed and all of that. He's not the same person, and that's what British has been trying to tell you, and you are not listening. So don't keep saying that you're a relationship guru if you don't know how a relationship is supposed to go, because you can clearly see that this shit ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? And you need to stop pressing her out to get with him. Are you pressing him out to get with British? Are you doing that? I wonder if you're doing that because at this point, I know you know that this man loves somebody else. He is in a whole nother relationship. He's basically married. So why would you keep on trying to go on and on with this girl about it? She's over and I am too. Like, Jackie, you really need to let her go. Jackie promised she would let her go, but we don't know. You know, maybe she knows that, you know, her girl is serious at this point. Because just like Jackie said, um, yeah, now that you signed it in that way, then I will respect your wishes. And I hope that you do, bitch, because... To be honest, y'all, I really don't give a fuck what British and Lorenzo do, okay? But please don't keep playing this shit out on the next episode because we want to see more stuff, more drama. We want to see a different relationship. I want to see what's going on between Jelani and Jen. I want to see, you know, uh, maybe new family members, like something going on other than this shit because I'm over it, okay? I'm just over it. So, y'all, Angel and Rockstar are at her doctor's appointment. They're doing a sonogram to see, you know, if the baby is okay. And the doctor asked him, you know, do what y'all like to know the gender. And they like, no, you know. So they decide to have a gender reveal party. And the game is so cute, y'all. It's going to be at the gender reveal. So basically, if you think the child is a boy, you should wear blue. And if you think the child is a girl, then you should wear pink. And I thought that was so fucking nice. Like, that is so exciting. I was excited. Just like when Duffy was like, you know, ooh, I got to get my pink wig, my pink dress. I was like, yes, girl. That's exactly how I would be acting because y'all know I love wigs and clothes. And I probably would probably be on, like, pink one side and blue the other side. Like, that would be so much fucking fun. They'd be like, bitch, what are you doing? You had to wear only one. 
honey, I couldn't even decide. I'm going pink on this side, and then we're going to look over blue on this side, girl, okay? So that would have been fun. And yeah, definitely you wasn't giving all that at the party, girl. So why did you get me all excited? Anyway, honey. So y'all, the girls are sitting getting their nails and toes done, and the place looks really, really nice. Like, I know the place I go to is nice and everything, but this place look like high-end for real. And I was like, dang, I really would like to go to something like that one day. And I, that's why I love these reality shows, y'all. Because it shows me just so many different type of places and, you know, vibes I want to feel from different areas that I really want to go to. And I can't even wait to start traveling. So anyway, y'all, they're in this um, nice, you know, saloon. So Nia is basically telling them, you know, like I said before, um, she's just starting a date. You know, her father died, so her heart was a little broken, and now she wants to come, go ahead and come out and date. And um, they were basically saying, you know, you ain't had sex. And she was like, no. And again, she was like, you know, I'm ready now. But, you know, but I don't know um, who it's going to be with. You know, it's, I got to take my time, you know. And I'm a Jew. I'm a queen. So they need to, you know, deliver right and respect me before I do anything. And I was like, I know that's the fuck right. Keep your celibacy until you can't give it away somebody who, you know, really deserves it. Because these niggas don't be deserving shit, y'all. You fuck them, they be on to the next one, y'all. I know how that shit go. And it, it ain't nothing changed, okay? So keep your shit until yeah he knows how to act accordingly and you can see that he really wants to be with you because you know it ain't really worth it if you know the opposite goes on if he's all acting like he ain't into you he not calling you you know um uh, he not concerned what your day was about he not really um concerned with what's going on with you fuck him okay because they'll be quick to say fuck up if you ain't giving up nothing you know what i'm saying don't give up nothing you, you get your little toys you get your little self and do what you need to do for you and don't be giving up shit until they act accordingly that's the only way you're gonna find your husband and that's the only way you're going to, you know, I ain't trying to give out relationship advice, but I'm telling you, you can go through guys quick if you just keep on sleeping with everybody and, and trying to be, you know, for yourself. Oh, yeah, I need this. I need this. No, you don't. Go somewhere with yourself and pledge you yourself and do what you need to do for you and move the fuck on. You don't need to be adding up, you know, sex partners and everything. And I think that Nia is doing a really good job and saving herself and waiting on, you know, a good person. Meanwhile, y'all. Um, Jen is telling some. Oh yeah, well I ain't worried about. I'm worried about the bank account. You know, I need a big bank account. I'm like, okay, there you go again, Jen. Because at the end of the day, you know, you gonna get yourself caught up. So Duffy and Angel meet up, and yeah, Angel is telling her how you know I haven't told my mother that I'm pregnant yet, and I'm just like, okay, girl, why the fuck are you? You know what? I know why you didn't tell your mother yet. You know that your mother was right when she told you that the last relationship didn't work. So you are afraid that she can see that this motherfucking one you got right now, Rockstar, is not the one either. She's going to see through the bullshit. You know, because you you afraid for her to meet him because you know that this ain't no good catch. You know he ain't right. So if, if he was right and he was loving towards you and he was nice and kind and gentle to you and not yelling at you like you say he get disrespectful, he was the opposite of that, then you would not have a problem. You'd be like, mommy, no, this is the one. He is the one. I don't care what you thought before, but this one right here, he got my back. He a real one. You can't do that because you already know that this nigga is fucked up. Y'all see what he did at the little reveal party? Oh, my God. He embarrassed her so motherfucking bad, y'all. We're going to get into it, but that was fucked up. Like, fucked up on so many words. Like, he did this shit on purpose trying to embarrass this bitch on purpose. So, anyway, um, yeah, she like my mother don't know. And, you know, I'm really afraid and everything. And just like Duffy is in the confession saying, you know, that's supposed to be the person that you tell first. That's supposed to be the person that you can find and then let her know. And, yeah, she just, she she wanted to know why don't you want your mother to know. And I told y'all that's why. Because she don't really trust that this relationship is going anywhere, you know, positive. That's what it is. So, she can't really tell her mother. She's scared to tell her mother. And, and rightfully so. Okay, y'all. Jen's look. Okay. She had two looks that I really, really like. Um, she had her hair, it was like middle part, both of the pictures are middle part. So the first little outfit I like was really, really cute. Um, she had a middle part. The look was really, really cute. I wasn't like really excited about the outfits because the one outfit I couldn't really see, but one of the outfits, it was a middle part and then the hair, the curls were like fan backwards. And then she had like on this, um, real cute blazer. It was like a shiny, like, um, uh, bluish blazer, but it was like a, um, blue blazer and it was like a shiny material. And then her eyes was like real, like, um, they had the blue, like a smoky, like cat eye. It was really, really pretty the way they did her makeup and her wardrobe it was to die for and the hair was beautiful with it and she looked amazing with that brown chocolate skin like Jen looked really really nice um the second look that I really really liked was um it was another middle part 
and it was just like Shirley Temple curls, but the Shirley Temple curls was like kind of like finger combed out and like a messy look. And um, she had on this like probably real leather. Y'all know we wear faux leather or anything, you know, in the real world. Okay, I have tons of faux leather stuff. And it was like a leather dress. The neck piece was like ruffled, you know, catering to her neck. It was so cute. And then um, it was like a full, you know, uh, body little dress. That's what it was. And I just thought her look was so pretty. Then she had these like fingerless gloves, um, Chanel gloves to die for y'all. Um, and yeah, she just looked flawless, you know, and she looked really, really pretty. Y'all, y'all know I love the way Jen dressed. Um, she had on a really pretty, um, Fendi dress. It wasn't all that. It was Fendi. The color was pretty. Jen's date with Jelani. So, um, she was asking him, do he have any kids? He was like, no, I don't have no kids. And, um, he was asking her, you know, do you got kids? Because she was like, yeah, because if you have kids, you're supposed to be this way and this way and this way. And she was saying all this stuff about kids, you know, and you would have thought the bitch got kids. And he was like, well, you, do you have kids? She was like, no. Then, bitch, how do you know so much about kids? She was really rapping and running your goddamn mouth. Y'all, like I said, Jen was really excited on this day. And I just thought she needed to calm down just a little bit, girl. Okay. But anyway, um, yeah, she was saying how, you know, plus she has her dog, um, Gigi, that just died after 17 years. And... The guy has two dogs is what he was saying. He's a dog lover too. So that's going to really help their relationship out to try and grow. And Jen says she can appreciate, you know, a dog lover. And I can too, y'all. And I never knew that I would love my dog as much as I do y'all. Because Capone ass in there is loved, okay, by this whole goddamn house. You know, he ain't he's old. And I just would never think that I would love a dog that much. You know, I had dogs coming up and everything. But um, we are very loving in my house. And, and we love on Capone. Like, he is definitely the sixth um, member of this family. He's just the fucking. And I even have a shirt called uh, Dog Mom. That's how much I love my dog. Like, when you fall in love with dogs, like your dog, then it's a whole nother world, y'all. I am definitely a dog mom and a dog lover, and I love the fuck out of some Capone. Like, that is my man. That's my boy. You know, to the point, even sometimes my husband be looking at me like, you know, because I think he be a little jealous girl, right? But, um, yeah, I love me some Capone. So, anyway, y'all, so they had that in common, and that's nice. I think that is nice. So, Jay Cats to them said, you know, she had a really nice time, and she's enjoying the moment and everything. And he was like, you know, should we do this again? And she all slow to answer, like, I was like, girl, you know you want to tell that man come over tonight, okay? Because you like it. I don't know, girl. She was like, I guess. I guess. Yeah, mm, that'll be good. I, I think we should. I was like, Lord. So they're going to go out on another date, and that's going to be nice. Like, I'm really excited for these two. They seem like they have good energy, you know, together. And they really genuinely seem like they like each other. Um, It just, I don't know if it's a spark there. You know what I'm saying? She act like it's a spark there with him. He's real smooth, so maybe that's what it is. But yeah, y'all. They look cute together, and yeah, let's see how this relationship goes. She walks in, and Malaysia's there. And Malaysia's like, look, in her confession, I won't be staying long because I'm really not trying to go through anything with um Brandy and everything. So I'm just like, okay, girl, yeah. She wasn't really feeling the whole thing. It looked like she was there just like, Therefore, supporting um, Angel. And it look, really looked like Malaysia was ready to go any fucking way. So, y'all, the girls are sitting around, okay? And Brooke mentions the fact that Nia decided to post some fucked up shit. Yeah, I got a taste for some out of wedlock baby shower food. I'm like, Ew. okay, girl, did you really like that? So fucked up. First of all, bitch, we all single out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? So, who are you to talk about somebody um, having some out of wedlock baby? You know, like, that was real below the belt and fucked up. And then on top of that, like, Angel was really hurt with that shit. She was just like, I'm really shocked. I really like this girl. You know, so what was you giving off? Was you being fake to her? But the whole time, was you hating? You know what I'm saying? Was you mad at her? Um, Was you jealous? Like, which one is it? Because that was foul, you know? And as far as I'm concerned, like, um, what was she saying? Well, like, Brandy was saying, bitch. And then you sit up there eating people's shit and dancing and all this shit, bitch. Get the fuck. Like, for real. So they was going back and forth. Nia come over. Um, yeah, what y'all talking about? So Brent, Brooke tell her, you know, um, the shit that you posted about. And she was like, oh, I didn't mean it like that. It wasn't like that. It was comical. It was just all for jokes or whatever. And they was like, well, that wasn't funny. And that's not a joke. Like, that's nothing to try to joke about. And Duffy's like, you know what? Let me go get um, Rockstar because, yeah, I'm not going to go get Angel because she's pregnant or anything. I don't want to get her upset. So they tell him, you know, what she posted. She's standing there. She really don't even give a fuck, you know? So she like, damn, for real? You posted that when I found out, you know, if I had a son or not, did 
you really post that? He was like, oh, man, that's fine. I can't believe it. He really starting to overdo it, y'all. Like, he's really on reality TV. Oh, that is terrible. That is just, oh, that is awesome. I'm like, Lord, Jesus Christ. So, anyway, they get the argument. And Nia's like, look, why are you on my page anyway? And Brooke is like, well, I don't need to be on your page. Really, Brooke? Because, bitch, like, she's saying, like, and even though Nia's wrong, bitch, how did you see that? You must have was on her page. You didn't say somebody told you about it. You heard it through the grapevine. You didn't say, yeah, your girlfriend or somebody told you about it. You said you saw it, so why was you up on this bitch page? Anyway, y'all, Brooke felt like she ain't had to tell the bitch shit. She ain't need to know. You know what I'm saying? All I know is, bitch, you wrong and you trifling. So, Nia was like, yeah, you just mad. You hating and everything. And she was like, what? Why would I be hating on you? Why would I? I like me, I would be hating on you. Really, bitch? So, yeah, I was just like, wow, y'all. They, they was really upset at her. And, yeah, Nia, she ain't give a fuck, you know? And, yeah, Rockstar was like, you know what? Um, Yeah, she need to exit stage left. She need to roll. And he dismissed the bitch out. She was looking stupid. Then, like, Nia looked stupid walking off then. And, yeah, she needed to look stupid because she don't come to nobody. Like, you wasn't even afraid that somebody would see it and, it, like, get to her. Like, or eventually get to her, too. Like, that's crazy. And, like I said, Angel was really fucking hurt. But before that, y'all, um, yeah, Rockstar trifling. He he knows this girl wants to marry him. He he has to know that. And he fake the mother is there. I didn't even say that part. Um, her mother's there. She meets Rockstar's father and everything. He seemed like a nigga to try to get you. He up there with this white bitch. And it just seemed like, you know, he the type of nigga to try to talk your head off about something and try to convince you. He another one that, that like Rockstar, some bullshit. He full of shit. That's what it seemed like, was telling her mother, um, yeah, and uh, Rockstar told me that your family is real um, close-knit and you guys are great. No, so like giving her all these compliments, bitch, and you don't even know me. Let's talk like adults. You don't have to try to kiss my ass for us to communicate. Like, let's just talk, you know, and talk about, you know, the kids, our children. And he wasn't doing it. He was just feeling the need to kiss her ass. So the mother was like, you know, I'm getting tipsy um, anyway. And, you know, it's fine. She was, Rockstar came over. Um, He was kicking, oh, yeah, that's a pretty color. That's the color. Because it was blue. You know, kissing her ass or whatever, too. But the whole time, I'm just thinking, yeah, basically, I feel like, you know, he trying to make a come up off this bitch. Because I don't know what Rockstar does. I think he's just a producer. I don't, y'all, I could be wrong. Leave it in the comments. If y'all want to tell me, then that's fine. But I don't know if this nigga got some money or not, but y'all know she's in the industry with all the stars. She is the fashion guru of the whole entire world right now. This is what she does. So he might be trying to come up on her. You know what I'm saying? So she might be like, you know, a, a bang right now and the father might know it. So it just, I don't know about this relationship, and I just feel like Rockstar got some shit behind him. So anyway, y'all, it's fucked up how he did her. He was like, yeah, um, I got something that I want to give to you. Y'all, he had two men come over, give him a box, you know what I'm saying? And he like, yeah, I know you want this, you know, on your ring finger, and yeah, I got it fitted for your middle finger. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that at another time. I'm just like, okay, bitch, what other time, y'all, because he got her parents there, his parents there. You know what I'm saying? He got this helicopter come out and, you know, all this blue drop down. It was beautiful. So pretty. They really put this shit together. Um, he got synchronized swimmers. They come out in like, um, roads and everything. Soon as they start to reveal, you know, the colors, the, the bitches start taking off their robes and jumping into the pool and start swimming around y'all. It was off the chain. They said they was going to do a big and they really did do a big. Like, it was off the chain, y'all. Then, um, Neo came out and he was saying too, you know, I said, yeah, they spent a lot of money on this and they, like I said, really went big. So, next thing, you know, like I said, he whipped out the ring or whatever. Yeah, I know you want it on your um, ring finger, but I got, you know, it fitted to your uh, middle finger and the end due time and everything else. And she looked fucking embarrassed. She looked like she was embarrassed and she looked like, oh my God, you know, but she played it off real, real smooth. And everybody was just like, oh my God, had their phones out and everything. Like it was about to be a moment for him to propose. And like Duffy said, it was the perfect moment. And this nigga dropped the ball, which he did, you know, and I just thought he was making a mockery of her when he did that. He was like trying to play on her intelligence. And he was literally like playing all in her face about, yeah, I know you want to marry me, but yeah, I'm not doing that right now. Because that's what it was given. That's what he gave. 
You know, and it was just, she had to be humiliated because I would have been pissed the fuck off. You know, you don't get me in front of everybody. Um, take out a rant and someone, you gonna put it in my middle finger. Like, it was just total disrespect. And I know she saw that later. And Duffy was like, ooh, she said it too when Angel came over there. She said, ooh, girl, I thought he was about to propose to you. She was like, yeah, I thought he was too. But, you know, and brushed it off. I'm like, girl, like, he wouldn't be embarrassing me like that, honey. Like, he know he can do that type of shit to you, girl, and you go for that shit. And that's why he did it, because you don't bring nobody, like I said, in front of a bunch of people, bring a ring out, have all this stuff going on, and then not propose y'all. So this is the type of shit Angel goes for. And yeah, that's why he did it, because he knew he can't. And I don't know. To me, y'all, I'm going to get off this, but it was some bitch-ass shit, dog. That was some bitch-ass shit, because I know her feelings was hurt. And you know you hurt this woman's feelings, and this is the mother of your child. Y'all, Angel got a long way to go with this nigga. Like, he is terrible. And I can't even imagine the type of shit that he say to her behind closed doors, or even the shit that he could possibly do in the future, or is doing now, y'all. So, that is all for this episode. Um, yeah. Y'all subscribe, like, comment. Um, make sure you subscribe, y'all, because there's a lot of people watching my videos, y'all. I'm getting thousands and thousands of views, and I don't have a thousand subscribers. And yeah, y'all need to press that subscribe button because it's for free. It ain't gonna cost you nothing, sis. So go ahead and press the subscribe button, and y'all stop watching my videos so much if you're not gonna press subscribe. And then on top of that, y'all, my videos automatically come up when you watch me, like I think a couple times. So I guess it's easier for people to just watch me and not even subscribe. But y'all just subscribe to the channel, okay? Help us out. I'm over here working really hard. And yeah, y'all need to try to help me out, okay? If y'all like watching my videos, which I can see that y'all do. So yeah, y'all, that is all for this video. Um, Yeah, and I will see you ladies and gents later. Bye.